Yesterday I uploaded this video right here, which is just a basic architectural video, and I've done it in 360 degree format. That way people can, you know, open the video, play the video, and then rotate it around using their mouse in YouTube. Alright, now somebody in the comments want to know how I went about doing that and if I could create a tutorial showing how to do that. Well, that's what this is. First thing you need to do is go to this web page. I'm going to put the link to this web web page in the description of this video. You need to download this tool which is a basically a little piece of software that injects some metadata into your video file that tells YouTube that it's supposed to be a 360 degree video. That's all it does. And you do this to your video file right before you upload it. It will actually create another uh, separate version of your video file and that separate version is the one that you upload to YouTube. Alright. I'm going to use this scene as an example simply because I've it's there it's convenient and what you want to do you want to make sure you have the camera selected and then you want to put the camera in sort of a a center location some a location where the person where viewers can pan around and see it. I guess you could say interesting stuff even though there's not a whole lot of interesting stuff to this. Probably be easier if I do it this way. Lower it down some. So now it's in a fairly s centralized location because this will be the pivot point in the video that, that you will see on YouTube. You can also animate the location of the camera too for like a walk around and then uh, um, it, it will still allow people to to aim the camera whichever way they want in YouTube. Alright, but this right here seems like a good location. You can look up, you can see the patio even though it's not finished yet and look inside the unfinished open home. <laughs> but as far as the settings for the camera in uh, Blender goes, make sure you have the camera selected. Then go over here to the, click on the camera settings and then change it from perspective to panoramic. And I've always just left these settings alone. The only one I have changed is the clipping obviously if the scenes real large you may need to make that uh, larger so you can get everything in the scene and then you generally want at least full HD for this because I mean you're talking you ha you're having to render a frame that can be wrapped around an entire field of view but generally whenever I do it I try to render everything in 4k which 4K is just 200 and uh, or twice the dimensions of full HD and once you have that set up all, you don't really have to uh, worry about where to aim the camera where you aim the camera here is just pretty much where the video will start where, where it would be pointed when the video initially starts if that makes any sense so I'm just gonna have it pointing right there and then you just basically let me make sure I have my settings right yeah and then just render a frame now the frame is gonna look 
kind of uh, funny whenever it gets finished. It's going to look kind of warped. It's, it's essentially going to look like an HDRI environment texture that, you're, that you use in the background on Blender. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through the rest of this. Alrighty, well, it's finished rendering. Now, in this case, I'm just going to do a single, single frame. But if you want, if you was uh, doing an animation where the camera was actually moving through the scene, obviously you would have to render multiple frames for that. So I'm going to go ahead and save this image. then I'm going to import that image into my video editor. The type of video editor for this doesn't matter whatsoever. It doesn't have to be capable of 360 degree video editing. This uh, video editor which is PowerDirector 14 it does not have 360 degree video editing but it doesn't matter. And obviously if you're going to create if you was doing a walkthrough and you you would have multiple frames you'd have to you know put multiple frames in here but this is just a single frame for this example whoops didn't mean to do that I'm going to just make this frame 30 seconds long and then I'm gonna output it output MPEG 4 custom and then change it to 4K. And I'm going to set the output right there. And then let it output. Like I said, this part right here is you can do with any uh, video editor. I'm just essentially taking one frame and making a 30 second video out of it that's it so if I go here and just play this it looks like it's just that it's just that single frame that's it you can't move it around or anything but this right here this right here is the 360 degree injection tool that I downloaded from that web page that's in and the links in the description of the video once you open it up once you open up the program you'll see this click on open and then go find the video file that you just made and then make sure that the 360 degrees spherical 360 is checked it it checks it itself but if for some reason it doesn't that's the one you need to check and then click inject metadata and then it's going to create a duplicate of this video with the metadata injected into it and it's going to be the same name but with inject to add it to it and then just click save and like that it's done and once it's done click X and then you can go to YouTube which I'm going to go ahead and upload to it and here's the injected version I want to upload that to YouTube And see, as soon as uh, it should over here start tell, it should right away tell me that it's a, um, th a 360 degree video, but for some reason it's not, but that's okay.
I'm going to have the link to this video in uh, the description also. So if you want to take a look at it. But basically, this is all you have to do. I mean, just upload it like normal. It takes just a little bit longer for 360 degree videos, but that's about it. No big deal. All right, it looks like it's finished processing. Open that link, and there you go. It's a 360 degree video. Nothing fancy, just very basic. But anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer. Later, people.